Join me as we create a super realistic watermelon in Blender, complete with PBR textures. I'll guide you through every step of the process. You'll see how just a few simple tricks can add realism to your 3D models and how PBR techniques can truly elevate your designs. Let's get started. First, select and delete the default cube and lighten the scene. Then, press Shift plus A to add a UV sphere. Now, press zero on the numpad to switch to camera view. Next, press S, then Z to scale the sphere along the Z axis until it starts to resemble a watermelon shape. Great. In the Modifiers tab, add a Subdivision Surface Modifier and set the levels to 2. Then, select the Mesh, right-click, and choose Shade Smooth. In the top right corner, switch your viewport to Material Preview. Now, drag the bottom panel up and switch it from Timeline to the Shader Editor. We're all set to start building our shader. Click New to create a material. Add a Texture Coordinate node. Select the UV output and drag it into the workspace. From the panel that appears, Search for the mapping node. Place it into the workspace and connect UV to vector. Next, search for the wave texture node and drop it in. Connect the mapping vector output to the wave texture input. Then, connect the wave texture's color output to a color ramp and connect the color ramp to the base color of the principled BSDF. Now let's refine it. Reduce the wave texture scale slightly. In the color ramp, slide the black handle to widen the dark stripes. Change it to a dark green. Then. Set the white handle to a light green. To add some variation, click the plus button in the color ramp to add extra color stops. Adjust their positions and tweak the colors to create some subtle stripe differences. Finally, in the wave texture, increase the distortion and detail and set detail roughness to one to soften the skew. Now, the watermelon texture is really starting to come to life. Next, select the color output of the wave texture, drag it to the workspace. From the appearing panel, search for the color ramp, and then connect it to the roughness input of the principal BSDF. Lighten the dark slider to soften the rough spots. From the mapping node's vector output, Add a noise texture node. Increase its scale to around 150 to add fine surface detail. Now, connect the noise texture's output to a bump node. Set the bump strength to 0, zero 02 for a subtle, realistic surface bump. Then, link the bump node's normal output to the normal input of the principled BSDF. And that's it. You've now created a cute, realistic watermelon in Blender with just a few smart nodes and some PBR magic. Enjoy your render, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more awesome Blender content. Thanks for watching, and see you soon.